Next, we will talk about the maintenance of the electrode and also the operation of the meter. Okay, so this um, pH electrode, as I mentioned earlier, is double junction refillable. So you will need to make sure the electrolyte inside is up to the bubble, uh, the whole level. And then always store your um, electrode in KCL solution. Okay, never store in distilled water or any pH buffer. Only KCL solution. Okay, and then every uh, every day before measurement, we will need to perform pH calibration, and then always rinse with distilled water for each measurement. Okay. And then for conductivity, there is not much maintenance. You just uh, store it dry. Okay. Okay, so for conductivity, you can rub it. It doesn't matter. Just for pH, do not rub it. Okay, so these are the maintenance for these two probes. Okay, now look at the meter. Now we are at pH mode. Earlier, we have done the um, calibration. So the slope will be shown here. And then this is the temperature and this is the millivolt. Okay, and then we press mode. We go into uh, millivolt. So here millivolt, it's, uh, they are using the same probe as pH probe. Mode again, there will be ion. Okay, so ion, it's depending on whether what kind of ion you want to measure. Let's say if you want to measure um, calcium ion, then you will need to get a separate calcium probe. Let's say you want to measure sodium ion, then you need to get a separate sodium probe. Okay, conductivity, just now we did the calibration already. Okay, so conductivity, TDS, and also salinity, they use the same probe, this black color one. Okay, just that you need to get a separate calibration solution for salinity and also TDS as well. Okay, resistivity also use the same probe. It's the opposite of conductivity. Okay, and then back to pH. Okay, now we will go to the setting. Set up. Okay. Then we, I'll show you the pH setting. Okay, so let's keep this. Okay, so buffer group, there are a few types of buffer group. The standard one will be the USA, the most common one. They also you can also customize your own uh, buffer group depending on uh, user you can save up to two user and then we have the DIN standard okay you see the number is a bit different and also NIST standard okay so we'll go back to USA okay Cal point we recommend customer to perform calibration uh, three point calibration which is the 4, 7, and 10. However, you can also go up to 4, 5, or back to 1, 2 point. Okay, but standard one will be 3. Okay, resolution. Standard is 2 decimal point. However, you can set to 1 decimal point or 3 decimal point as well. Okay, alarm. You can set your range. Let's say your acceptable range is pH, um, pH 10 and also pH 5. So if your measurement is out of this range, it will have an alarm to remind you. Okay, CalDU is just a calibration reminder for you. Okay, then we can go to... Uh, we need more conductivity. Okay, so conductivity usually we will go for auto mode, meaning that if we do calibration one four one three, the it will automatically set the point to one four one three. Okay, if you set manual, once you immerse the probe into one four one three, you will need to manually adjust to one four one three. That only consider calibration done, manual calibration. Okay, so manual calibration, you will need to use it on TDS and salinity. Okay, only conductivity has the automatic function. Cal point, usually a uh, single point will be sufficient, whichever that is closer to your sample. Alright. Okay, this one, uh, this one is for the pure water, usually we just leave it on. 
Okay, temperature coefficient, we just leave it like this. Normal temperature, uh, we don't have to set because we have the electrode. Okay, cell constant, this is the one that can be found on the uh, conductivity probe. But for this meter, they already preset it for you, okay? So you don't have to do any adjustment. Okay, alarm is the same. You can set your range. So if it's out of range, it will give you an alarm. Okay, Caldew, same as well. Okay, all right, next, we have the memory in and memory out. So for PC2700, you can store up to 500 data. Okay, so if you want to save a data, just press memory in. Okay, then it is store location. Okay, then you go memory out. You can see it is uh, the reading is stored right here, the date and time. Okay, so uh, also this meter provides a RS232 cable. Okay, for you to connect to PC for data transfer. You can also connect to printer as well. Alright, like print mode right here. Okay, report. This will be your uh, last calibration report. Okay, make sure every day your calibration, the range has to be between 92% to 102%. If it's out of range, you can change a new buffer solution and then redo the calibration. Okay, if, if it's still out of range, that means that the probe performance is not that good. Okay, so a good one will be between uh, 92 to 102 percent. All right, I think that is basically the maintenance and operation of PC2700. Right, thank you.